How's it going, guys? Clutch here once again. I'm here with my good friend, Whammer Jammer. Whammer, say hi to the fun folks at home. Hey, everybody. How you doing today? Uh, today, we're doing something a little bit different. We had a bit of a question on the difference in types of cattle. So we have uh, regular cows, and we also have the Brahmin. And I was wondering, what would be the difference if we were to have two farms with the exact same amount of cattle and Brahmin, if they would produce different, different amounts of milk, different manure, uh, if they reproduce quicker. Anyways, we're going to figure that all out today, guys. So we've got all our equipment ready. Whammer's jumping around like he's ready to do this. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're going to go and try and do this as scientific as possible. We'll see how this all works out. So stick around. We'll figure out what's going on with the cattle next. Clutch simulations. All right, guys, so we've got our cattle and our Brahmin. So uh, this pen over here, we got the Brahmin. We got 40 Brahmin in this pen. And on this one here, Whammer's gone and purchased for me 40 cattle, 40 cows. So I'll show you the menu here. Uh, there we go. So we've got 10 of each. So these pens will actually hold 50, uh, 50 cows and 50 Brahmin. But this will give us the option to take a look at their reproduction rates once, uh, once they start getting food and water and all that fun stuff. So we're gonna take start gonna take care of that right now. Uh, first things first, we need to take care of some water. So I got Whammer sitting in a tractor trailer right there, full of water. I'm gonna take this one here. We got a little tank in the middle there that helped us fill up. Let's fire this bad boy up. Um, we're gonna go fill up with water. Whammer, you can go fill up that one there. I'll go to the one with the cattle on the far side, and we'll do this kind of simultaneous. So this is accurate as possible. I don't think the water really matters in the grand scheme of things, but you never know. So we'll fill these both these troughs up with water and uh at least the cows will survive then <laughs> we'll see uh yeah hopefully it goes in there he goes and there we go option to drop water boom all right so we'll drop this off with water next up we're gonna need to take care of getting all our bales up here it's gonna be a lot of bales we're gonna need to feed these these cows like a lot of bales so uh we're gonna start working on that next uh we'll meet you guys down below and when we get all loaded up All right, so we've got all our bales. We've got some hay bales. We've got some, what else we got? Grass bales, hay, oh, hay and straw. That's right, hay and straw. I knew I'd get that someday. Silage. Uh, no silage yet. We've got the silage and the round bales down below still. They're waiting yep. to be picked up. But uh, we're just gonna drop these off. We've got all our equipment ready to go up here. So you can just kind of pull up beside me here, Whammer. Uh, and we will leave our bales here. Uh, this should be a good spot where we can kind of equally load everything side by side. And it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'll drop mine right there. Perfect. All right. And that should be enough to at least get us started. Um, I don't think that's going to do too much, actually, for the, this amount of cattle. That's going to be quite a bit of bales we're still going to need for food. But uh, whatever. We'll get started with that at least, and they'll uh, take a look at what our numbers are showing. So uh, we'll go get the silage bales next, but we should be able to get ready to get feeding these cattle. They got water. Everything else is good to go. All right, guys, so we've got our hay bales. We are all set up. Let's, uh, let's get doing some feeding here. So uh, let's see if I can do this without knocking these all over. That's going to be key. Because <laughs> uh, I usually knock these all over. Oh, and I'm on the wrong side. Uh, I thought these were stacked differently. Let's move these around. So we'll do with the, uh, the power mixture, the total ration for the cattle. Uh, so that's going to be a little bit tricky because we need to do it at the same time. But we've got two... Uh, two of the devices here that'll do that. So we need to get one each of these straw bales. And if I can do that without knocking them over too badly, that would be great. Look at that. Like I know what I'm doing. Perfect. Come on. Like a pro. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. Uh, and get this back in. And back up. All right, so there's one for you, Whammer. I will drop this off and you can take that one and put it into uh, that one as well. Oh, there we go. I got that one in. There she goes. She's working away. And now we need to get two of the, uh, the hay bales each. So I'll see if I can knock these down gracefully enough. Come on, get up there. This will be the fun part right here. If I go too fast into it, I always end up knocking these things over. 
You know what? I can take four down and make life a little bit easier for us, I suppose, can't I? That's the nice thing about the telehandlers. They end up, they're actually fairly good at uh, moving things around without tipping over. All right, so there's those four. I'll take the top two. There's two for you if, whenever you get done dropping that off inside. Yeah, this is taking me a minute. Yeah, you're all good. All right, so I'll drop these two off. And then the last thing, once we get these dropped off, all you got to do is the silage, which is not bad. And boom. Perfect. Two more in there. And the last one is just silage for me. And then we should have our total mixed rich, uh, ration for the cows, at least, on this one. Uh, we'll dump these at the exact same time, just so everything's kind of kept somewhat scientific. I don't know if it really matters. I think since we're doing it all on the same day, it shouldn't really matter, um, as long as we're within a couple minutes and we're on slow time. So that shouldn't make much of a difference, but uh, we'll see exactly what happens with our numbers when this all starts happening. So we'll finish this here off, guys. We'll uh, check back in with you as soon as we get it all loaded up. All right, guys, so we are fully loaded with some cow food, the, uh, the ratio mixture stuff. Uh, Whammer's going to go jump to the Brahmin or drop off in the Brahmin here. I'm going to go over to the cows on the far side. And, uh, yeah, let's do a double dump. We can do it at the same time. That'll be fun. <laughs> All right. Are you ready, Whammer? All right. And a dumperoo. There we go. I am dumping. Perfect. Let's get out and take a look kind of just dump it on the ground here all over the place that's fantastic <laughs> same uh, all right so whammer's got his going we got ours they should cows should have some food at least a little bit to get started now awesome all right so they got some food for there we need to get some straw bedding as well um that'll be the last part that uh takes care of kind of all their needs but we'll need to get a lot more food let's take a look at the old menu here let's see what we got is it almost done yet actually yeah she is so for food, you can see I've only got 16,000, and that's about an eighth of what this thing is going to take. Um, oh, there's very little food in there. Yeah, it's a lot. We need a lot of food. So we need to get some more food eventually, but they have their start, which will be a, will be a start essentially, and then we need to get straw for their bedding. So we'll do the straw right away here, and then we'll worry about food later on. So let's go take care of the straw. All right, so last thing we need to take care of is the straw bedding. Like I said, uh, we've got some straw left over here, so I'm just going to take the top two. Whammer's going to get the two underneath that. Uh, let's see if I can do this without dropping everything. Oh, I'm totally not square here. There we go. Come on, forward. There we go. Don't drop them, Whammer. Don't drop them. I'll do my best. <laughs> uh, no promises. <laughs> So this here is just a bale breaker. We just need to stick it inside these little uh, devices here. And then afterwards, it is actually just going to drop and spray all the bales everywhere, which is kind of nice. Come on, get in there. And back out. Boom. Perfect. And let's see if Whammer drops the whole bale down on himself. <laughs> I'll leave my telehandler kind of hidden over here. Oh, Luxie, you actually got both of them. Good for you. Ah, oh, we can turn that off. We don't have to be a crazy person and leave them all on, do we? All right, so, um, like I said, we just need to get this straw Whoa! bales. Oh, no, <laughs> you saved it, you saved it. <laughs> so they just need bedding. That's the last thing left, and these cows will be producing us milk. They'll be producing us uh, some slurry. Should be good. So we'll see what happens uh, once Whammer gets this done. We'll do a double dump into, this, into the pen again and see how that all works out for us. All right, Whammer, we're all loaded up. Let's go make some bedding over here. Um, now yours is just around the backside on this building. I will go around over here just to make life a little bit simpler. Perfect. All right, so I am good to go. It looks like you're good over there as well. And Dumperoo. Awesome. All right, so there goes our bedding. Cows are fed. They've got their bedding now. They are making silage, or making silage. They're making, uh, <laughs> what are they making again? Make <laughs> manure? <laughs> They're making manure. They're making milk. Uh, yeah, looking good. Awesome. All right, so we'll uh, let them sit for a bit here. Maybe we'll give them some more food overnight. We'll see how this works out. But they've got everything they need now to start producing for us. So we'll see if there's a difference between the cows 
and the Brahmin. I have no idea. Um, I'm kind of hoping there is, because that'll give you kind of some more strat uh, strategic options when you're playing, whether you want to maybe make something that makes more milk or maybe something that gets you more... Um, maybe a big old juicy steak. I was thinking some steak. I was definitely thinking some steak. Mmm, steak. Anyways, let's, uh, we'll give them overnight here. We'll see what happens. Uh, we'll check back in the morning and see where we're at. All right. All right, guys. So we went through uh, one day, I guess it was. Um, everything has been done. Let's take a look at the old menu, see what our cows did. So uh, they're currently just fit, ran out of food. Uh, straw's getting a little low as well. But so here's our cows up top. And what is it? Our Brahmin down below. And you can see that virtually no difference. So reproduction rates. Uh, manure levels, slurry levels, milk amounts are all pretty much identical. There is no difference, so you can buy whatever cattle you want. It does not matter. Brahmin or cow, it looks like, are going to give you the exact same production. They're going to use the exact same amount of food. There is no difference between the two other than cosmetics. That's kind of unfortunate. I was kind of hoping for more. Hmm. I don't know. It's, uh, it is what it is, I guess, but uh, I was hoping that there'd be a little bit of a difference between the two. Anyways, Wammer, thanks for coming out, my friend. Appreciate it, as always. Yeah, thank you for inviting me. Hey, my pleasure. And other than that, guys, um, if you did like this video, make sure you guys hit that like button. Of course, if you're not a subscriber, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And that's going to do it for us here today. Thanks again, and we'll see you guys next time. This is Clutch and Whammer, over and out.